If you are or become uncomfortable at any point, please indicate to me with your hand and I will tap you out. All right, let's do this. someone and then see them courting someone else. I knew it from the beginning, but I really knew it when you're jumping out of this pool blocking every <laughs> shot. I was like, oh, don't mess with Danae, for real. I'm like, when is he gonna be my <laughs> if you would please take a seat there, facing that way. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're making all the conditions as neutral as possible. Huh. So, the contestants are allowed to touch you as they see fit. If you are or become uncomfortable at any point, please indicate to me with your hand and I will tap you out. Okay, okay snap. Well, no, I'll snap if it's good, so never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't snap if it's bad. You can just, like, you know. How's that? Yeah, I can't see anything. You can't see anything? Mm -hmm. You can tie it tight, too, so you know. I'll tie it a little tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, see, don't tell a British Nigerian <laughs> tight, man. Like, mm. <laughs> That's good. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Amber, mm -hmm. are you ready? Alrighty. All right, let's do this. May I please have the first contestant? The kissing challenge necessity. Uh, I think that the couple of the front runners for sure were Erica and I think Danae. It just was a real pull that Amber had to them and vice versa. But also, I actually spoke to Amber one night. It was after one of the games, and we were just chatting. And she mentioned to me that Erica and Danae were up towards the top of her list. That is something she actually did mention to me. And um, just the chemistry she felt with them. Like that, making it last fast, bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like, do it like that, kiss it like that, making it last fast, bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like, do it like that, kiss it like that, making it last fast, bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that, like it like, So blind, but what exactly are we talking about? Like, you just want to know. Oh my gosh, completely and utterly awkward moment. So it's like, how do you um, take direction from someone that you're really close with? And then you have uh, a family member on set 
watching you and family friends that you've known for a very long time, for over 15 years, watching from the other room. Uh, I had no idea the connection. You were not on the show because of the connection. You were on the show because you're gorgeous and you wowed us in the interview. Thank I you. I had no idea that you were related to Jess. So when you said Ruby's sister, I was like, huh? What, what, do you, what does that mean? Well, I... I yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's not why you passed. We like showed you to Nicole, and Nicole was like, <laughs> why is this a question? <laughs> Honey, you, you got in the door yourself. And then I'm being told that I, you know, to go ahead and make out with your celebrity. It was just completely and utterly awkward to, to have to do that in front of the camera and in front of my family in real time. And yeah, that's not the way I would want to court someone. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> not my favorite activity. <laughs> the kissing. I. <laughs> I wish that I had so much more alcohol before we went into that room than we did because it was nerve wracking and you don't know how anyone else has kissed or maybe some of them did. I did it. Was that your first kiss? That mm -hmm. was my first kiss with Amber. That was probably one of the only other times that I ever kissed Amber. So it was extremely nerve wracking for me. I think a lot of the girls probably had dates where they shared moments like that with Amber. I didn't have that. So for me to suddenly go into this room by ourselves and I'm all of a sudden expected to just make out, my skills are on the line. I don't know. <laughs> think I've been here before. I know that I must have met you in a past life.
Um, I also think that I went in going, okay, I'm gonna do like this slow thing, and then I kissed her and the plan completely fell apart. When we kissed in that room, maybe Amber didn't feel it, but I felt like we started vibing and picking up a rhythm. And that's when any sort of logical plan I had, and I have too many plans, went completely out the window. And in that moment, I just remember going, I want more. And I think Jess gave me a little bit more time. I might have been wrong, but I felt like she gave me a little bit more time compared to the girls who went before me, which just made it worse, but in a good way. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Chieko is my Carmen San Diego. Like, I love Chieko, and she's the shit. That's all I gotta say about her. I love And uh, before that was, uh, hold on, I just want to do it before I lose my train of thought. The door before that. And the first I'm between, I think it might have been Sterling. Ready? Let me know if I'm doing good. Yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong about one. Okay. Because there's, there's, the first one is who I'm back and forth between too. But the other ones I feel like. Okay, but yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. But even though Danae also is in acting, she didn't make me feel like she was in acting. She felt like my friend that I've known for years. Um, so as the weeks continued and Danae started climbing up in my personal ranking of where I thought everyone was sitting out with Amber, I think I was just sitting there cheering her off in the sidelines going, you know what, you go Danae because there's a moment when Danae thought that she was gonna be eliminated and she and I were talking in the room and she said, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna do 100% what I wanna do and who I am. And if Amber likes it, great. And if she doesn't, then I'm just gonna go home. And when that moment happened, is actually when the turning point when I think Danae started catching Amber's attention a lot more and I was kicking myself for not doing the same.
Are we by ourselves? Yeah. The first one was Ghana, that was Sterling. Everybody else is bop, bop, bop. Okay, the next one's coming in. Let's go. You doing all right? Damn. I know. <laughs> so definitely Amber and Sterling were um, running around doing their thing. Um, there was a morning in which they were in the room together and had stayed in the room together one night. And I knew because I was in the room, but then I dismissed myself because I was like, this is not for me. Um, and then, dun, 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 uh, I was wondering how they were gonna play it off in the morning. So I was in the kitchen cooking and uh, they played it off really well. So they went on, um, through the balcony in the back and went through the pool area. So they came in through the back door. As if um, they had been outside. As if early they had been morning. outside early in the morning. Now we know they were not outside early in the morning. So how did it make you feel when you realized, well, you didn't just realize, you were presented with physical evidence right. <laughs> um, that Amber and Sterling were spending intimate time together. I mean it's isn't that what we were there for? I mean, if she found the one, more power to her, you know? And if Sterling found the one, that's amazing. I was just like, okay, I want to see more of how you guys are going to continue to sneak around together. <laughs> <laughs> First one was Erica. Um, let me try it. Okay, so I have to reverse it. That was Ghana. I think Ghana is so sexy when she speaks. That accent just... <laughs> and also incredibly intelligent. Um, I have nothing bad to say about Ghana. I love her. She's great. Okay, last of her. Okay. First was Erica then. And then it went um, Adora Chieko. Um, oh, I, mi I missed an A. Oh, dang. Okay, but I think I got it. The last one was Ghana, so that means the first one was Erica. More importantly, Amber, mm -hmm. who are your top three makeup? Can we play it back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the butterfly kiss, on their Eskimo kiss on my nose, that one? Yeah, it's really the... Butter the the no the nose the Eskimo kiss one person and um, and I think second to last. You want to know too? Um, let's go second to last, third to last butterfly kiss or nose kiss. Amber, you chose three kisses mm -hmm. as your winners of this competition. Mm -hmm. Can you please tell us? 
who you picked? I picked um, Eskimo and Forehead Kisser. Yeah. Um, I picked second to last and third to last. We both were straddling. Amber, I'm going to remove your blindfold. And sitting in front of you. Oh my gosh. Are the kisses that you identified <clears throat> as your favorite. Well, do you understand why there are only two women sitting in front of you? Oh my God. Did somebody come back in twice? No. However, you chose the same kisser two times. Butterfly kisses mm -hmm. and third from last were both Danae. This is second to last? No, second to last. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I just pointed to you too. Your energy was like, it was heat right here. <laughs> Crazy. And it's the Eskimo kisses for me. <laughs> <laughs> All of you beautiful women kissed magnificently. I enjoyed myself. Oh, everybody's here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know these two, can I guess the other ones? Okay, no, I don't remember the order. It's fine. All right. Okay. The four of you, can you please return to your rooms? Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. The winners. <laughs> Thanks. On the makeout challenge. <laughs> Pretty solid challenge to win. <laughs> Although, as we know, all kissing is subjective. Mm -hmm. All love and sexual intimacy is subjective between those people in that particular moment in time. What did I say? <laughs> How um, do you feel right now, Amber? Seeing uh, these two women mm, sitting before you. Surprise and makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Can you elaborate on that for us? Um, I feel like I kind of knew because of the time you took. It makes sense mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, I think you seem very, um, I don't know, engaged with the person. So the kisses here and here, you hit everywhere on the face. So that makes <laughs> sense. Um, this one was just a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> It was sexy and um, sensual, um, and I'm just not. I'm, I'm at this point. I'm not surprised. You both are killing. Yeah. I see the two of you clinging on to each other. I don't know why. We're just we've become a family in the house. Yeah. We're so like. I see we're that. pulling each other yeah. through. Exactly. Literally. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to see sisterhood developing. You know when it could be a very different kind of energy. Mm. You know in yeah. the competition. Yeah. So I think that that speaks. I actually think it speaks volumes of the quality of women you have to choose from, Amber. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And on that note, I'm delighted to be able to inform you <laughs> that you have both won individual dates with Amber. Yes. <laughs> 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 Snaps for that. Yeah. Woo! You're so uncomfortable. No. Yes, I'm are. cool. I'm just like, You're and then what? Fingers. Yeah. What do you? How do you want me to move so I can make you comfortable? Oh. I want to help you be more comfortable. It's not you. That's it's not you. The other things. Yeah. Okay. I think I would be like way more free flowing if I like was able to have a conversation. You know. Mm -hmm. So I was definitely still playing the game. It didn't bother me. I mean, in those situations, you do have to be able to be very in tune with your emotions um, and not get upset when you see certain things. It's very hard to court someone and then see them courting someone else. Well, I feel like that first kiss wasn't like a kiss kiss, but today... You made you win the challenge. It didn't make me. You made me win the challenge. <laughs> 
Yeah, you did okay. your thing. You gave me a lollipop. What kind of <laughs> seduction? <laughs> Back bends and the knee bends and the in the hair flips and the lollipop for me. Strawberry. Yeah, you understood the assignment. And that's exactly what that whole experience was. You're literally watching someone that you like a lot, like courting everyone else and giving them time and space. Um, and then you're like, when is it gonna be my turn? <laughs> I don't wanna catch you off guard anymore. I want it to be reciprocal. So I'm gonna try to give you, you know, time okay. to process. And by time, I mean 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> That sounds good. I mean, you know, give me timelines. I can work with it. Okay. Okay. Yep, here we are. By the pool. By the pool. What could I do? I just want you to, even if it's temporary, like just to feel the, your wall drop just a little bit, just so we could like even see. That kiss though, I enjoyed that. Mm, me too. <laughs> It was very nice. I'm sad mm -hmm. that it ha our first situation happened the way it happened, but also I'm like, maybe there was no other way for us to break the seal. And I've never seen you twiddle your thumbs so much in my life. <laughs> yeah, I've never, I don't, I've, you're the reason why I love you so much. You're one of my favorite humans because I'm so comfortable around you. So this is new for me too. Mitts had to come off, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I love this woman. I love you too. And as your best friend, you go, girl. Also, <laughs> 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 the other side of it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. They came off and you threw them away. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Burn. Now yeah. look who's going away. See, I moved I'm closer. I'm sitting here. What you, you don't want me to do what I want to do right now. So I'm trying to give you your 24 hours. Okay, but I'm just saying, I moved a little closer and you moved further away. You need cuddles. No Chanel's here. Chanel's not here, you're having a moment. <laughs> For real. I'm sorry, boo. I forced it, but you did it. No, I want to kiss kiss without a blindfold on. You said you were gonna give me 24 hours. I'm sorry. Okay, you can have your 24 hours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That actually worked. Thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking Nicole. <laughs> we the younger generation are so much more honorable than we do. With us, there's been like a real shift. Like I, yeah, yeah. Um, in a good way. <laughs> that was like our first real, yeah, 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 connect. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, it was like the standout for sure. That's crazy because I walked out of there being like, oh no, that was like probably too like sweet and too cute, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> I love the sweet and cute. <laughs> I think because I'm like that. I'm such yeah. a, yeah, I'm an Eskimo kisser, a butterfly kisser. How can you not? Like, yeah. Those are the cute fun things, <laughs> right? <laughs> Those are like the I really love you type of things. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a good balance too, because it's like, oh yeah, I'm straddling you, but I'm just gonna ask him. Well, I figured I needed to be more bold, so I went bold there. <laughs> yeah, you did it. Okay. And I know that's a lot for you, so. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. I think it met, it met more too because of that, especially when I realized it was you. You realized during it? I thought I thought so. Oh god. Who else, who else is sweet enough to do that? <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. Whatever you want. Mm, I am too, um, because, yeah, the the switch up, yeah. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, it is, it is, <laughs> it is for sure. Yeah, okay. And then I'm also nervous because um, you look far. I was actually before the pandemic hit and I was in my acting class. Um, my plan was after acting, go to LA for like a year or two to yeah. like build up my reel and try to make connections and shit. But then mm -hmm. the pandemic got in the way and then I ended up writing a book. Um, 
Wait, what's the book about? Um, it's a fantasy book about uh, the world of fae, and it's very lesbian. <laughs> yeah, a lesbian fairy book. Yeah. <laughs> it's erotic. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty dope. Oh my Thank gosh. You. Although it's done. I have two chapters left, and that's the first book, and then I have to start writing the second book. So what do you do for fun besides your books? Um, I mean, I live in New York City. Like, what is yeah, there to do for fun? Yeah, true. I mean, before COVID, I used to like going to burlesque shows, and I liked going to like art galleries. I love the Met. I like live in the Metropolitan wow. Museum. Oh, wow. Uh, there's always little performances, and I have friends who are like musicians, and I'll go to their shows, and it's just the plays. <laughs> yeah, oh, I miss, yeah. I miss live theater too. Yeah. I mean, what do you do for fun besides, you know, poker and reading nonfiction? <laughs> Jazz nights, magician right. shows. Like, oh my God, I love I magic. love going to random things. Yeah. Like, just everything. I, I don't know. I just love people being experts in their field and just, like, appreciating them for their it's craft. It's the sexiest thing ever. Right? It's so sexy. Yeah. When someone is, like, passionate about whatever the thing mm -hmm. they're doing, and they're doing it well, and yeah. you just see, like, that light kind of turn on, yep. and you're just like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> for real. It could be the weirdest we just thing. Say, it yeah. doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> There's so many layers to you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Don't underestimate. I know. I, listen, <laughs> I knew it from the beginning, but I really knew it when you were jumping out of this pool, blocking every <laughs> shot. I was like, oh, don't mess with Danae, for real. Because that's what I do. <laughs> How do you do what I do? Uh, I feel like we vibe on a lot of basic principles. Yeah. Chef Betty, welcome to the Tribal Wisdom Room, where you and I try to help guide Amber into making the next right decision mm -hmm. okay. on the journey for the woman who will win the key to your heart and your closet. Yeah. <laughs> And so... And I love banana pudding. Yeah, that was an excellent, excellent instinctive choice there. Yeah, thank you for that. Well, well clearly it wasn't an accident because it's your post-sex refrigerator. Right, yes. right. So, who elevated their banana pudding? <sighs> and thereby your experience with them? I think it's beyond the banana pudding. That was like a little bonus of the day. <laughs> but like, I think as the time has been going on, Danae has been really kind of stepping it up and I've been able to, you know, go from like, oh, I really like her to like, oh, wow. I think I like her, yeah. Mm. Yeah, and then, um, but I don't, but overall I just loved everyone's decisions, mm -hmm. you know? I'm the type of person that like, obviously I love to eat, but like, it's just the effort for me. Even if it Absolutely. gets burnt or it's not right. good, I just love that they try to do mm -hmm. something, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Danae has pulled a little ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then Adora just sprung out on me out of nowhere that she followed me and was already attracted to me before we came into this house. And I don't understand why she didn't tell me that day one because <laughs> she was the most reserved. Yes. Come out of nowhere all this time later. Mm -hmm. I was just like, what? How did you not lead with that? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that's. Um, so that kind of switched up my vibe with her because it went from like, oh, we're just chatting to being like, oh. Ah, <laughs> so we're you're chatting, chatting. <laughs> yeah. So you genuinely weren't sure if she was uh, legitimately attracted to you? Yeah, interested at all. Mm. Oh. I really liked her, but there was no, I guess, there were no cues. There was nothing telling me that that was something that she was feeling as well. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. She did bring me coffee a couple of mornings, but I just thought that 
she's a sweetheart and she just kept saying, I'm a mom, I take care of everybody, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's definitely a shift change. Obviously a shift change with my my best friend, with Sterling. Obviously there's a you shift change. You mean the other winner of the kissing challenge? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was a lot. Mm. That was great. Ooh, you missed that, I, chef. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty. I can't wait to see. It, it was pretty fun to watch. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, Jess. Hell yeah. <laughs> voyeurism all day, baby. Consensual voyeurism all day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, who is maybe drifting a little further away from a lasting connection with you? Uh, you know, Chico. She was strong. Um, for a while, and mm -hmm. now I think we might be drifting apart a little bit. Okay. Um, also, I have noticed that there isn't a connection with Sunny, mm -hmm. other than I really just enjoy hanging out. Yes, I definitely can attest to that. I think you guys seem to have like a really enjoyable bond, mm -hmm. but I don't see any real sort of romantic or sexual chemistry mm -hmm. building between the two of you. Yeah. Speaking of which, the word decisions there's going to be an elimination tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm ready for it. One woman only. OK. Whew. You never know, Jess. You do never know. She could be like five. Could be always something cooking. Yeah. <laughs> OK. I think I know what I'm going to do. Chef Betty, thank you so much for joining us this week. We had a wonderful time with you. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Shaba, Ruth, always a pleasure. Amber, how are you? I'm OK. There are seven beautiful women before mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At the end of tonight's elimination ceremony, there will be Six of you remaining, Amber. Let me see this color right here, actually. Danae. We've had a great week. <laughs> and um, yeah, I enjoy you, so I'd like to have some more time with you. I would love more time with you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> Sterling. Yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should just take it off at this point. Me too. Cute. Okay. It's very cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Also, we love the drama of it getting out <laughs> off. Oh, jeez. This is a lot tonight. You want to share the struggle? The struggle is that, like, um, for the few we've had, we had like great connection at the beginning, and then we just haven't had the time lately. And um, and then some, that actually I would say that about this whole couch over here, and then some like, yeah, we, it just kind of, Adora just kind of started telling me stuff. <laughs> so that's the struggle. I'm tripping up over my words, but. Um, Ghana. You make me nervous. You make me nervous. You look good. This is a nice outfit. Thank you. I, 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 I understand what you mean. <laughs> you look great. You look great. But I want you to get to know me. Mm -hmm. Not my edgy style. Yeah. My, how I look. Yeah. I try to look great for you and for myself. Yeah. As well. But I want you to know what's in there. Right. And I, we need to spend more time. We do. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So we still need that to happen. That's why I would love you to stay longer. Yeah. Well, now I know what car you drive. <laughs> <laughs>
And it was my last kissing you there. It was. Yeah. yeah. I think it's your smell. I smelled you. Wait, there's two in here? Wait, give me one more key. Ah. Uh, I may not have been entirely honest. What? There are only two keys. Oh, okay, Jess. And therefore... I have to ask you mm. to let two women go tonight. Oh my goodness. I wasn't ready for that. Wow. Are you okay? Because I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. You've got this. All right. Erica. I still love your dessert. I appreciate the effort. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> got better dessert coming. It was great. It was great. Um, and yeah, we haven't had as much time as we did at the beginning, so. Yeah. Yeah, I hope we can. Um, okay, there's a lot of girls. I get it. Yeah, have some more time so we can like figure out if our how real our vibe was at the beginning. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A little flush there. It's this. What? Like this is hard? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There is only one key remaining. Two of you will be leaving the house tonight. This is really hard because um, I have like a, a new vibe, a person I love being around, and someone we, we've been trying to break through. Um, it's like really hard.